the summer of transition. It is the term used by the Obama administration to describe the beginning of a drawdown of U.S. forces. But so far, there is no clarity about when or how this will happen. By us killing Osama bin Laden, getting uh, al-Qaeda back on its heels, uh, stabilizing much of the country in Afghanistan so the Taliban can't take it over, it's now time for us to recognize that we've accomplished a big chunk of our mission. The White House has been laying the groundwork for a significant troop reduction, suggesting a weaker al-Qaeda can be fought by small teams of special forces soldiers and more technology, like drones. Afghanistan is the longest war in U.S. history. And with a bad economy, it's becoming increasingly hard for the White House to make a case for it, especially after the killing of Osama bin Laden. There are reports of divisions over the withdrawal strategy. It's a mistake, particularly to couch the question in terms of the, of the cost of the war, because my question is, what's the cost of failure? What was the cost of 9-11 because we left Afghanistan in 1989? But there are others in the administration calling for a quick cut in U.S. forces now, and key Republicans also have become skeptical. Only the Afghanis can win Afghanistan's independence from the Taliban. And that's all of you. President Obama could announce details of the withdrawal next week, and many anticipate the controversy will go on. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera.